Hello. Today we're going to talk about how analytics and reporting are superior inside of PlanView Enterprise One. Some themes that we'll see through the demonstration include how Enterprise One provides unique analytics and reporting consumption methods, uh, as you'll see through desktop productivity tools that people use every day. This provides high ease of use and a seamless user experience for the people that use it, such as executive leadership, PMO leaders, Agile Center of Excellence, product owners, business owners, other, other analysts, project managers, program managers. And how we do that is through integration with Microsoft Office, as you'll see in the demonstration today. And when you're in the application, what we call at a glance interactive tile-based reporting, where one tile kind of has all the information you need organized so you can get at it and drive decision-making off of. Uh, and, and what powers all this is the content that we have provided, uh, provided for our customers. So we have something known as our fast track analytics catalog and dashboards, and that provides all the out of the box day one ready content for organizations to use to satisfy their analytics and reporting needs for their portfolios. So to bring this to life, I'm simply going to advance to the next slide. And this is going to show us one of the first examples in our integration with the Microsoft Office Suite. Right now, you're looking at the result of, of executing a live PowerPoint export from within PlanView Enterprise One. All the fast track analytics in the catalog, you could do this with. And what it allows you to do is to export not only static PowerPoint, but as you see here, interactive PowerPoint. So you know, when I'm presenting it to my stakeholders, the presenters presenting it to a stakeholders, you know, we're looking at, you know, benefit, cost, what funding category it's in, you know, color is, you know, who's sponsoring it, size is the capital requirements. When questions come up, we can actually interact with the analytic inside of the PowerPoint user experience. So if the boss says, I, I don't want to see that by uh, a funding category, I want to see it by strategic uh, uh, strategic type, strategy type, which lets us know whether it's an epic versus a program, et cetera. I don't have to answer. I'll get back to you later after I go back to my desk and rerun the report. I can change the parameter through the PowerPoint experience and answer the question on the spot while, while in the meeting, right? So, okay, boss, most of our work is epics that we're doing. We do have some program work over here. And certainly the one is that's generating, you know, the biggest benefit and costing the most happens to be a, a program. The point is we're able to, the value is to be able to save time in the production uh, of these analytics in, with Enterprise One. And then you were able to answer the question on the spot rather than having to get the boss uh, back to the boss a little bit later. So another way in which we're integrated with the Microsoft Office Suite is via um, Microsoft Outlook. And the first part I'm gonna show you doesn't matter which, um, which email system you're on. So if you use Outlook or not, the first part's available to you. The first part that being what you see is the result of a subscription. You're looking right now at my weekly portfolio status booklet. This is a fast track analytic from the catalog that gives me a, you know, a one page executive summary. And then it lists out up one page or 17 additional pages, one page for each project or epic or feature that are in this particular portfolio. I didn't have to go into the application to run it. I didn't have to run it for people. Using the subscription service, I could set it up on a predefined time to a predefined audience using you know, a predefined filter into a, a, a predefined frequency uh, and then delivered in a predefined format. This particular format is what's called email format. It could be a PowerPoint presentation, a PDF, a Word document. Uh, it could be the data itself. Uh, the point is, is that you're able to automate the production and the delivery of the various portfolio analytics that you need to deliver to your stakeholders. So a huge time saver. If we send an analytic to, you know, 100 people, there might be, you know, 10% come back and want to, you know, kind of slice and dice it and, and kind of, uh, as I like to say, interrogate the analytic further. For those individuals, we can leverage the PlanView Outlook add-in. What this allows us to do is that any uh, dashboard or analytic that we, you know, fast track analytic dashboard uh, uh, or analytic that we want people to have access to, we can serve it up through their Microsoft Outlook experience. So without leaving Microsoft Outlook, I can go in and generate new visualizations of my portfolio information. Right now I'm looking at a balance report for strategy. It shows me you know, our spend going into various portfolio initiatives or strategies and what our spend is across our uh, you know, value streams or, um, uh, 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 or objectives, right? 
Uh, alternatively, if I maybe wanted to look at this differently, you know, maybe I want to see, you know, who's paying for what, who's the sponsor for what, you know, it's like we showed you through the PowerPoint experience, I can get into the parameters that are used to generate the report, right, and, and change the, uh, the, the primary attribute for the pie chart to investment sponsor. So now I could see that Frazier is spending most of the dollars in the organization, right, where a lesser extent of dollars are being spent by Michael. Right. But I could still see the breakout across products uh, and or um, lines of business here on the right hand side. Once again, ease of use built in kind of seamless with people's everyday productivity experiences. Right. So this service is a large audience, uh, you know, a large population of any one particular customer, just the ability to get to and consume analytics. And it's built into tools that you're using already day, already every day, namely the Microsoft Office suite. So now let's transition into Enterprise One itself. Right? So now I'm in PlanView Enterprise One for the first time. Okay, I'm being served up my overview, which is kind of your favorite dashboards, favorite analytics, et cetera, that you want, favorite exceptions, if you will, you want to be able to have insight to. These dashboards, you know, one tile, as we call it. Uh, are interactive. You can see this one tile's got a number of different tabs down below. I can filter the information. If I just want to look at what's going on in the information technology portfolio, I could do that. I could look at one of these alternative tabs to see, you know, of our big strategic investments, what's the total cost? What's the, what's the benefit? You know, if I focus in on IT deployment, you know, I can hover on it and kind of zero in on everything else, right? Um, Alternatively, I can right mouse click on it and drill through it and get more detailed on its cost, get more detailed on its count and kind of the metadata behind it, or look at the timeline of the portfolio to be able to see kind of you know, all the projects or epics or, or features that are being delivered, kind of what does their timeline look like. Uh, ultimately, what this also does is help raise and, and you know, bring to light any exceptions with, in this case, the IT portfolio, right? So in this instance, I'm looking at my top 10 over under budget projects. Right now I'm looking at projects that are over budget, right? I could see here my enhanced the legacy BI portal is over budget. And without having to drill into it and get more details, my tooltips opened up that give me kind of a summary view of the enhanced the legacy BI portal. You know, if I flip the lid and look at it, show me everything that's under budget, you know, I could see that, you know, the next gen data collaboration one here is generating about $143,000 of, um, uh, you know, we're ahead of budget right now as it stands, right, at my fingertips. These tend to be kind of, you know, all work costs money, but these are kind of traditional PPM views. If you're in the agile side of the house and you're undergoing an agile transformation, you might use the fast track agile program management dashboard tile that you see here. And so what this shows me is it still shows me my traditional bodies of work, which for this organization represents roughly 75% of their overall portfolio is still traditional where it can certainly generate revenue and cost money, but it also uh, it's measured on red, yellow, green and kind of effort going into it versus these other smaller slices, which are value streams or products in our organization. My consumer banking product, we don't call track it by red, yellow, green. There is no effort on it because it's agile work. It's measured in terms of things like points. You know, we're breaking the work down into features, right? We're seeing who's paying for those features, um, but it still costs money, right? And one of the things that we see around agile work is that they're being organized. It's being funded now by value streams, right? Or products. So rather than funding by, you know, traditionally the line of business, it's now moved over to products or value streams where that's where the money lives. And what we're also seeing in agile environments is the desire to track OKRs, objectives and key results. So you see here, objectives and key results are metrics or KPIs that you're establishing a target and you want to measure your progress towards it over time. And we could see here that with customer conversions, we're currently falling a little bit short of where we want to be, right? If I zero in on consumer banking cash, I could see that, you know, that this is our biggest value stream in terms of the budget. We're not where we want to be with, with customer conversions. You can always drill through it and look at the epics that are in that value stream. Right. So these are the big rocks that we're trying to get done to deliver for the consumer banking uh, value stream. I could see some of them are finished. 
Some of them are not started. Uh, one of them is started. I could see this epic up here that's de de delivering a lot of value. Um, you know, I can click on it to filter further. I could see Fraser's paying for it, right? It's helping us appeal to younger audiences, which is important to us. And bonus, it's helping us deliver additional customer conversions, right? So if we decide to move forward and start this epic, we might make up for that shortfall that we saw around our customer conversions OKR. The other things customers typically do with Enterprise One is they walk the ribbon, so to speak. So now I'm looking at my, we're doing a portfolio view and we're looking at our hybrid strategy portfolio. These are all our big investments and they're hybrid. A lot of the work is agile. A lot of the work is traditional. We've got 19 big investments going on, right? And with any one of these big investments, if I need to go present it to the boss, I could export it to PowerPoint timeline which is a function. So I'm gonna export the program, the new high priority program. And what that'll do is export out uh, a beautiful Gantt that I could use as part of the presentation material to explain why the new high priority program is so important to our business, right? Of our 19 investments, they're costing about uh, $18 million. And I could see the enterprise architecture impact on that. Uh, the agile work is worth about 1500 points Right, so in one tile, I could see all the agile work that's going into the high, uh, hybrid portfolio, right, and see areas of risk over it. Of my 19 investments, seven are over budget, right? So these are the problem child, you know, the big investments where we're, we're running over budget as it stands. And then I've got about a $2 million variance overall across the entire portfolio. And if you think back to the first report that we looked at when we started the demonstration inside of PowerPoint, that was generated via this tile, the STRO3 prioritization matrix. I generated the report and then I exported it here on the right-hand side to a live PowerPoint. And what that did was created the slide that I used and I incorporated into the presentation that we used for today's demonstration, right? Um, you can certainly export it to lots of different formats as well. In addition to what we saw earlier, have full creative control over what's on the y-axis, x-axis, et cetera, all through your interactions with the report. But as we showed you in Outlook in the email, I can also go in and go ahead and, and establish and create subscriptions where I could set up this matrix to be sent to a predefined audience, right? I could send it in the format that they desire to get it in. And then I could set it on the day, week, month uh, that they expect to get it and have it you know, automate the production and the delivery of this analytic to that, uh, you know, to that stakeholder, to that leadership member. What drives all this content is our fast track analytics, uh, fast track analytics catalog that contains our, our kind of out of the box reports in addition to our out of the box uh, dashboards that we have available, broken out by different categories. So these different categories show you each of the individual reports, um, what are the configuration parameters around them, the works on, on them. And, and what it provides is all of the analytics and reports that a customer needs day one as part of their plan view deployment, broken out, as I mentioned, into the different you know, categories of reporting that are needed. In addition, um, you know, we, we provide what you saw in the application today, uh, portfolio views and column sets, right? Walk the ribbon, line of sight, at a glance information. We interacted with a Power BI tile that allowed us to kind of um, uh, interrogate the data. We looked at fast track analytics catalogs and Outlook and PowerPoint, et cetera. We have an add in for Excel that's available. We certainly provide custom reporting services if customers want it, uh, but a lot of it could be self service, a lot of it could be done on your own. Uh, and most importantly, I would say is that if you're not a Microsoft oriented um, Power BI or Microsoft oriented business intelligence operation, in other words, you guys use a different power, a BI platform, I should say, we do provide OData access to be able to get to the data uh, and build your own content using your business intelligence tools of choice. The takeaway is, is that PlanView provides unmatched in our industry against our competitors, the best analytics and reporting capabilities that are available. So if you're interested in this and want more details, please contact Windmill Software, either at the number listed on this slide or email inquiry at windmill.com. Thank you and have a good day.